Hey everybody, this is Games here, and today I'm going to be discussing, actually, a few theories that have been uh, floating around in the Steven Universe con uh, community. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a different kind of video than normal. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Black Diamond th Theory. Now this one's been floating around quite a lot. It's basically the theory that there is um, a fusion of the three diamonds, uh, Yellow Diamond, blue diamond, white diamond, that makes black diamond. And the main the main argument for this is the like the new um, Diamond Authority logo, which has the the three triangles for each of the diamonds, and then it's actually got a smaller triangle where they intersect in the middle, which is black. So this could obviously this is the basically the biggest argument for the black diamond theory, but I think it's very interesting that they would do this. Another thing that I actually noticed, um, a while ago actually, I, w I was uh, talking with my friend about Super Universe, I was like, pink diamond's already been shattered, Ye uh, yellow and blue diamond were kind of released around the same time, and the white diamond hasn't even been mentioned by name yet. So if I had to guess, I'd have to say in the original logo that uh, pink diamond's on the bottom, yellow and blue diamond are in the middle in some way, and then uh, white diamonds on top, like just out of just out of guessing, so I didn't remember what it looked like, and I was right, which actually really surprised me. I was very happy to have noticed that. So there is the fusion weapon, which is basically, you know, the weapon that was created in theory by the fusion of that would be black diamond in this case, that kind of corrupted all the gems in a final blow after the end of the at the end of the rebellion so yeah that's kind of that whole theory the next one i want to talk about is sneeple um which is basically the given name for snake people so basically the theory about this is that the diamond authority is busy with a war against snake people that's why they don't care about earth right now and the reason that snake people of all things is because ronaldo mentioned snake people in one episode and all of his random, all of his other random things that he just kind of shout out, shouted out, like Snake People, actually turned out to be true later in the series if we look back at it. No, not us, us. I meant me and the Crystal Gems. Wait, so the Hand wasn't here to snatch up humans for a human zoo? I know what the diamond means. Polymorphic sentient rocks! <laughs> And, which is actually kind of funny, because nobody actually had any clue what he was talking about. Um, from a theory-making standpoint, this makes sense, but I honestly cannot see this happening. It just seems like it would feel kind of random or forced in there to have just, oh, it's because there's snake people, obviously. Like, there's nothing really other than that hinting at it. And I feel like Steven Universe is a bit, it's a better show than that, you know? They don't have a... Sure, they, they mention snakes every once in a while, but they don't really, like, talk about it often enough for it to not seem forced when they add it in. So, I honestly can't see that happening, but if it does, who knows. And this next theory is really, really interesting. It's that the temple gem might have shattered pink diamond. So, um, the arguments for that is that Pearl and Garnet actually look very shook up when, um one of the rubies mentions the, uh, the death of Pink Diamond. So maybe they were partially responsible. So Rose Quartz is too small to shatter something as huge as a diamond. As big as she is, she's not as big as a diamond. Diamonds are huge. So um, Eyeball mentions that they remember specifically Rose's, or Rose's, as I said, huge sword which is what she really remembers, as opposed to her shield. Like, Eyeball doesn't say anything about the shield, just the sword. And then the Temple Gem, you can actually see in one episode, actually has a large sword, but not necessarily a shield. Now, if it was Rose's sword um, uh, that had actually shattered Pink Diamond, it couldn't have done that, because Bismuth, the maker of it herself, even said... I designed this sword for a fair fight. It can cut through a gem's physical form in an instant, destroying the body, but never the gem. 
So, if anything shattered Diamond, it would have had to bet the Temple Gem, right? Wrong. Amethyst was not around to be a part of the Temple Gem yet, so it couldn't have been that. The Temple Gem is actually a fusion of Garnet, Pearl, uh, Amethyst, and Rose. So, since Amethyst wasn't around yet, that couldn't have been it. But still, considering all this evidence, it's a very interesting theory. Maybe it could have been a fusion between Pearl, Garnet, and uh, Rose that did it instead of the Temple Gem. But another thing is it would be really interesting for the humans, after getting saved, to build a large temple of their saviors. So, I don't know. It's, just, it's a very interesting theory to think about. And it's kind of been disproven, but I mean, Amethyst looked a lot less shooken up about the mention of Pink Diamond's death than Garnet or Pearl were, so who knows? It could have just been them. Um, so that's really all the theories, but I also just wanted to talk about the Diamond hi Hierarchy for a little bit. So in order, if you look at the murals on the moon base, in order of most to least colonies, uh, the diamonds are White Diamond, Yellow Diamond, Blue Diamond, and Pink Diamond. Pink Diamond has the least amount of planets. Just the moon and the earth, that, that's all she's got. Um, and also, blue diamonds crying and pink diamonds lack of planets basically kind of make it seem like they're almost in innocent. But you really have to like remember, like, blue diamond just straight up snatched up Greg and went to the, to, uh, back to homeworld. And you gotta remember the original plans for Earth too, those must have been designed by pink diamond, right? Or if they weren't, Pink Diamond surely didn't do anything to stop them, so they aren't nearly as innocent as they might seem as for all of that. So yeah, anyway, I really can't wait to see where the show goes from here. Uh, that's really all I have to talk about today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye!